Blog Talk Radio. Everyone, everyone, stop. The show's about to start. Welcome to another episode of No Conduct Radio. I am your host, Kai, along with Logic and BJ. Oh, I was about to say Shara is late, but here she is. The illustrious Shara has arrived. How is everyone doing tonight? Good. Everything is everything. Good. Um, I think that's a North saying. Uh... And nobody knows what that means. What's the North saying? Everything is everything? Everything is everything. That doesn't even make sense. Everything is everything. Everything is good. (laughs) No, but he said he could say everything is good, but he said everything is everything. What does that even. But. Everything is everything means, you know, things are what they, they just, it is what it is. It's the same kind of saying. It is what it is. She said the North thing. What the hell? It is. They don't say that in the South. I mean, unless they say it now, but they didn't say that in the South before. And I, I don't know about the West. I've never been over there, so. What is wrong with y'all in the South? Like, the South is just like. I don't like, know. I don't, ain't nothing wrong something worth not South. talking just, about. They, they, they talk differently. I'd be looking at them like they from space, like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Even on the phone, I'd be like, all I said, is, uh, yeah, I got you. I don't understand a word they say. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so what's it? It's well, truthfully, I, I did have to get used to the accent. That That is true. Um, yeah, no, it's no. Can't under- it's like a, Until you no get accent, used to the accent, the you really can't understand a word, word they're saying. I, I don't know. Well, but, but, but logic, I got something to tell you, man. It's the same thing we talked about, I think, a couple of shows ago about the um, situation about one of your friend, uh, female friends called you for, like, a six attire. I had to have to be um, yesterday. Yesterday. Female friend called me yesterday. She was six blocks away from me, my house. So I'm like, oh, she called me. She said, oh, B, um... Uh, uh, guess what? I got a flat tire. I'm like, okay. What you want me to do? Uh, can you come, you know, <laughs> help put the spare, help, help put the donut on spare? I was like, this. What? I said, first of all, I don't do, I don't do that in my own car. I said, don't you got triple A? And she's like, oh my god, these guys today. I said, first of all, hold up. I said, I ain't your man. And I, what do you mean these guys today? You have to have triple A. Just come on, women. Now I'm not changing no tire. She said, well, they didn't wait too long, but yet you pay for the triple A regardless of the, how long you wait. I said, I'm not leaving. So you're like six blocks away. I know I'm staying where I'm at. I've got things that I'm doing something. I'm like, if I wasn't doing something, I wasn't going to help you anyway. I said, well, thanks for calling me. Stay in your car. Call AAA. Whatever. Wow. Man, that's you mad at me. Man, that's you mad at me. Okay. Okay. I said, I ain't flashing you. I said, okay, whatever. And I thought I was the show. I said, yeah, we did. I just had that talk about that on the show. Damn. <laughs> Uh, like yeah, you want me to come out there and fix your tire, and you need to come over here and clean my house in a French maid outfit. Yeah, uh, not, it's just, not even that. Want. Regardless, you're just yeah. crazy. Come on. Uh, you pay for the service, get the service done. I mean, I'm not, no. <laughs> what was her reasoning for calling you, even though she had AAA? Well, she had AAA. The thing is, I guess it happened, you know, she hit a pothole or whatever, and, you know, she wasn't thinking. And first thing she said, okay, I'm near, I'm near B house. Let me call B. Wait, what? I was like, yeah, but I'm not coming out to change the tire. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, I'm going to tell you what it was. She thought about it, but well, she probably had the bare bones minimum AAA, which doesn't cover them coming out and doing stuff like that. So she wanted to oh. save some money and call you 
you know, and get you to come out there and do it for free. And then the only payment you would have got was, thank you. Thank you. I know. Uh, yeah, I'm saying, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not your man, I ain't smash you. But we friends. I'm like, yeah, but call the triple A. It's crazy. You that's, you, this kid, these guys today, I'm like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. And now she's not talking to me. I say, yeah, you'll call me when you need something again. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. Did she talk to you a lot before then? Yeah, we, yeah, we talk, yeah, we well, you know, just had kicking whatever, just yeah. But she just that one incident. She just called me because she was close to my, in my vicinity, and she said, "Oh yeah, B." I'm like, "Okay, B ain't coming out, no." <laughs> I'm not coming out. <laughs> and she's like, "Oh, you so mean." I said, "How's that mean?" Oh, sleep. Like, man, I think you gotta be crazy. Mm-mm. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's a, that's a and I know your mind immediately went back to this show, didn't it? <laughs> It did, and I and I, I hung up. I said, "Oh my God, that's just dead." I said, "You're mad." We talked about that a show ago. It's stupid, and that's what he did. Like, damn. Like, uh, it's crazy. I said, "What did the damn?" Yeah, but you, guess you, what? You, do you know how many, you know, soft back goons would have jumped up? Like, oh, you, I'll be up there right there. I know. I mean, she, yeah. she, she's a nice, she's a nice looking woman, you know, but it, it ain't bad. He ain't got a bunch of looks. I'm not gonna do it. It's just crazy. Mm-mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're not coming? I said, no. And she was just like really shocked that I wasn't coming. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. <laughs> I was like, nope. Nah. Yeah, she hung up Has the phone like, a, like a, she, she hung up the phone like a cartoon villain. Was like the, the powers of the coochie doesn't work on him. But, uh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> and she ain't giving me none. She did give me some. I still would have came out. <laughs> <laughs> we must go wow. back and make another plan. Yeah, it's just hey, it's just that. And she's that kind of so person. She thinks she's ask. like she got the looks and everything, and she just she used her looks, man. I tell you, I see her when she came into like a bar or whatever. She she used her looks. I'm like, damn, she get a drink for free from the bartender. I was like, okay, uh huh, yeah. She's that kind of woman. So ah uh, ah. Um, uh. Well, I was gonna yeah. ask you, has she ever helped you with a problem? No, I mean no. <laughs> no, first of all, a tire problem is not like a you no. Know, that's a whole different problem. Nah, I mean, she heard what about no, uh-uh. no, no, no relationship problems like that because you know she's not into relationships, so she can't give me relationship problems. You know, okay, you know, um, uh, advice. So she's not into relationships. So how would she give me advice? But no, nah. mm-hmm. business wise, no, because we're totally different business. No, mm-hmm. we just friends. You know, one and then one time just talking, we'll have whatever, jokes from the past, whatever, just reminisce. But no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I I don't think you made a bad choice. I think it's funny that oh. she handled it that way, and she's no longer talking to you. But you know, well, she, yeah, I mean, she should come around eventually. But you know, it's starting to get warm in summer, so she wanna, you know. Hey, listen, if she don't, what are you really missing out on? Nothing, nothing. I got to no. say, nothing. I'm missing out on nothing. Nothing. It's yeah, it's ridiculous. Um, Char has been uncharacteristically quiet. I mean, did y'all miss, do y'all miss, do y'all not miss not having my voice? It's like, yeah, everybody just carried on with the show. Like, okay, everything's normal. I'm like, they don't even miss me at all. I, I accidentally hung up on myself. I hung up on myself. The one who misses your voice is the one that you're dealing with right now. We mm. are not impressed. <laughs> Yes, oh, yes, forget you. Have you. That means that means you love me too. I know logic. You all do. That's exactly what that means. I love you all too. Love you all. But I hung up on myself by accident like ten minutes ago. It was hilarious. I don't know why. I just uh, talked about you or something. It was, it was hilarious to yourself. <laughs> I did what? It no, I hit in yourself? call. Oh, it okay. is hilarious. Who who does that? Who hangs up on themselves? Like I just hit in call. You know, like y'all never did that. You can't hang up on yourself unless you call yourself. How is that possible? No, I called. No, I called into the show ten, fifteen minutes yeah, ago, yeah, and I've been yeah, sitting there. Save this show, and not hang up on yourself. I, like, okay. No, yeah, no. Yeah. Okay, you do know that you do know that I was on and I wasn't on. So obviously my call dropped. I, I knew you Hello. were here, but you didn't call yourself. So you accidentally hung up. No, not I didn't say that. I just said I hung up on myself because I called. I called, well, I hung, whatever. I called, and then I was like, hello, oh, I'm here, or something oh, like that. God. Remember? Wait, wait, so. But you wouldn't talk to yourself. Did she just say remember? <laughs> wait, no. Again, <laughs> no, because he heard. You guys you, you guys didn't hear me when I first said hello? Because uh, you're like, Shar is yeah. late or whatever I am. Yeah, 
You didn't really? When you no, first came I just on, knew and you I'm were like, there because I could here. see the numbers. No. Oh, okay. Because you know, I heard you say Shar's here or Shar's later. I forgot. Or she's here. And so I was like, hi. Bam. That was it. That's all she wrote. <laughs> I had in call. Bloop. Let me just disconnect the call. Okay. Mm-hmm. So this is getting. What did I miss? This. <laughs> Nothing. So, anyways, last week we had technical <laughs> difficulties. And so we're continuing yeah, this crazy. show from last week. Oh, my gosh, I'm scratching my neck, and now every time I scratch my neck, I think about somebody, they they saw me scratching my neck one time, and they say it scratched like a cat. Now I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> you scratch like a um, cat. That's because you, you spend a lot of time with a cat. That's probably why you're naturally picking up cat's char- char- characteristic nature. How, how, how does a cat scratch? I don't know. How does you scratch? scratch your neck with your foot? That's a, I yeah. mean... <laughs> you do, Tim. I hate you, Lonnie. I gotta say that's that's a waste of tail there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that is how a cat scratch. Yeah, it definitely that is. <laughs> Shut up. But no, you know how they. I, I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, so our okay. show was prematurely canceled last week due, due to technical uh, difficulties. We were in the middle of basically talking about how controlling logic is when it comes to, you know, women. And um, we were then going to play the game, Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? So we're going to continue that from last week and, uh, you know, pick it up right where we left off with uh, Char telling logic that he is uber controlling because he says, you know, if you wear a shirt with cleavage, with your boobies hanging out, then he's not, you know, he's not all for that. And Char was trying to say that she wears T-shirts a lot, and if you have big tatas, you're bound to have cleavage, which is a complete lie because I wear T-shirts all the time and I don't have cleavage. It just depends on what well, kind of shirt you I buy. I was thinking about what she said. If you got them old titties that, that go down to your knees, yeah, it might <laughs> pop out of a T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> gravity, gravity. <laughs> that's kind of that's disgusting. not necessarily true. That's not true because I know plenty of women that have fake boobs, fake and like implants, double D's, and they have exactly the same problem. It's because of the size, the extra gorge that's trying to fit into that shirt, and it's the right size shirt sometimes, I'm sure. But you know, they're just they're 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 I have excessively large. I have a, I, I have it. No, I have excessively large breasts, and no matter what I wear, if it has anything of a of a slight, you know, low cut, not even low, but line there or neckline whatever then yeah you okay. there's some there's a possibility of cleavage but but we're talking about we're talking about disrespectful cleavage and we're talking about cleavage do you know that logic i thought about this too never mind the t-shirt what about what about the fact that some women's fashions period okay are just going to have a, a slightly lower neckline especially in the summer when it gets hot is she supposed to have a turtleneck just to appease you and, and 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 to prove that she's you know a sophisticated respectful woman. It's a little ridiculous that you would actually find that disrespectful just there because can, she's showing there are some very amount many of cleavage shirts out there. Sure, there are many shirts out there that don't show cleavage and they're not turtlenecks. What are you talking about? Do you, no, I'm do you saying in the like summer where people, people, more than I do? people, I just said people, well, likely, I, people wear less in the summer when it gets hotter, less and less clothes, period. I find it shocking, and I don't believe him, that any woman that's with him, that's really with him, with him, would not ever wear a, any kind of a shirt or dress that did not show some kind of cleavage at some point, but yet a respectful amount of cleavage. There's, there's a difference between slutty cleavage and just general a little bit, a little bit of peekaboo cleavage, not intentionally, and sometimes it might be intentional. But that's just ridiculous. I mean, it just isn't. You know, I mean, I, sometimes I have, I, cause Kai, you've seen this when we were when we were working on the show, show the after show on some of the videos. You know, I have, I will say that sometimes I've had disrespectful cleavage where it's like way too low. Like, why is it way down there? Why is it so much spilling out? And I can't blame them on the big boobs at that point. It's just I chose to wear that. It probably was too much cleavage. You know, depending on who's with me or not with me, then that's another issue. You know what I mean? Because I won't. If if my man ever tells me that, hey, go change clothes, or you're not wearing that, or I don't think that's respect, or, I think that's disrespectful, or I think that's inappropriate, then I will heed to it. Because at the end of the day, who is it really for? Yourself to feel good about yourself, and for your man or your mate, not for the world. But you're saying Agreed? if your dude did tell you, but you're saying if your dude did tell you, don't wear 
a shirt where anyone can see your titty crack, as my da- daughter calls it, then you're thinking that that <laughs> person is being um, very controlling. No, no, that's not what I just said. I said I would appease him because it's a, it's about him and it's about like how I feel I, I about myself and outfit and it's about him. You were telling, no, you were telling Roger that that's very controlling of him. No, I said a disrespectful amount of cleavage. I said if I was wearing, if I was wearing like a disrespectful okay, amount of cleavage. Okay, so you, have, because you just, have a limit. Yeah. So if you're showing any oh, and he says he doesn't prefer that, then that's too cl- controlling. But if you're showing what He's not you gonna, deem, what you deem, not him, but what you deem is a disrespectful amount of cleavage, cleavage then you're okay with that. So basically you're controlling it still. And it, it no, 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 because I know. Partner. No, no, because I know what he would con- no, 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 because I know what he would consider to be a disrespectful amount of cleavage. Remember what I just said to you when, when, okay, when Kai and I were working on something called the after no contact after show about two years ago. Okay, that's another story. She saw some of the scenes, and I remember I had a dress on Kai with this jean, like little short jean jacket over. My cleavage was beyond were disrespectful. It was when I thought about it. When I thought about it, it was like, okay, way down there, you know, just, I mean, dip, dip. And I said, oh, my gosh, now, had I been in this relationship now and I wore that dress, if he said, oh, my gosh, that's just too much, I totally can get it because, I, you know, because I know what's, what's comfortable and uncomfortable to him, but he doesn't see it as disrespectful, generally speaking. I don't know too many men that are secure with themselves that have a major problem with a little bit of cleavage in the first place, but, like, a disrespectful amount of cleavage is when they're just filling out. And you're, you're, little, and you're trying your hardest to get attention. That's disrespectful. There's a huge difference. Because of the way that clothes and fashions run and go or whatever, a woman shouldn't have to trip over herself you know, to be a nun you know, every time she gets dressed to, ple- to appease logic. Hmm? Don't you know any, any, any cleavage showing is, a t- is, a, is an attention getter for a guy? I'm going to tell you that right now. It's a guy talking to you right now. Okay, why don't you, uh, ask, why don't you ask the other the other 100 million men in the world who clearly love cleavage? If that wasn't the case, just, so many fashions would be made with that option. You're one man, and so is Logic. That's you guys are two, what he a just panel of two. said. I just said. I just, no, I just, he's being, but I know how he's asking, but I know how he's asking me. He's asking me so he can turn it around and say, but he doesn't think so. That he doesn't think it's no, all, I, always sexy or whatever. What? Am I right? Okay, okay, uh, answer my qu- Let me ask you a question. I'm going to, no, but I, I bet you I'm right. Okay, I'm going to say that any amount of cleavage is whatever you uh, just repeat it one more time. Let me give you my answer. I just want to make I sure said, I'm following you. I said, I said any amount of cleavage is an um, attraction for a guy. That's just, that's just any, any amount. Uh, in that's my right. opinion, and, and no, yes, no, it's, it's I, a tension getter yes. for you. It's a tension getter for you. It's a tension getter for you, women. Any amount of cleavage, I'm telling you, you could be. In okay, the oh, I thought you were asking me, or you're making the, uh, a statement. Oh, I'm sorry. Room. Okay, I, I apologize. With cleavage, okay. the guys gonna uh, look at you. I'm telling you, it, it could be like. Okay, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right okay. because they, they do that when you're totally covered up to your neck because men are just dogs like that, and men are often well, men think of sex every hundred and sixty no, seconds. Okay, I'm saying cleavage. So, you're saying yeah. a small amount of um, cleavage is not a uh, attention getter. It is an attention getter. No, you're right. You're right. I thought you were saying something else. And you were, I was okay. wrong. I assumed you were saying something else, and I stand corrected you, for even cutting you off. Oh, it. So, uh, you sure forgive you still me. still cutting me off, but that's cool. It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Then I'm going to take back my apology. How about that? I'm just going to unapologize because I literally said I'm, I stand corrected, and I literally said I thought you were saying something else, and I was completely wrong about that. And it all accounts. Okay, so, Shar, so before we start going back. around and around in a merry-go-round, so, Shar, if Logic was your dude, and he's telling you that even oh, just – Oh, see, that's yeah. a bad scenario. It would never happen. Okay, go ahead. So, anyway, anyway <laughs> and he tells you just the top of your – You're not my breast type. – showing, just the top of your mm-hmm. breast showing is not – Acceptable to him, like he, I mean, he, he doesn't say it that way. Logic say it in a way that you would like say. The I want, I want the out there to hear. So how, shush, <laughs> shush. I want our listeners to hear how he would say it. I don't want to put words in his mouth. Okay. So say you and Shar were in a relationship, and she's and she's dressing how she normally dresses, and go. Well, I would basically tell him, like you know, I'm not comfortable with uh, you showing that much skin. And that much of your body, you know what I mean? That, that kind of stuff to me is n- number one not necessary, and number two is disrespectful to the relationship. So therefore, 
if she had a lot of shirts like that, and she was trying to go the distance with me, and I was trying to go the distance with her, then we would have to go through her stuff. I mean, the, the amount of cleavage that she would be showing, that what she's describing, would not fly with me. And if she wanted to do that, if she felt like, oh, you know, you're not going to control me, okay, well, then happy trails. I'm not. I'm not. So you, are right you breaking up with me, Logic? Are Are you breaking up with me? Is that what's happening here, on on the are air? You, are you, Let's you, just are get you it out there. Scale, are you going to scale <laughs> back the way that you're dressing? I can, but but Kai did not apply that right. Kai said the way that she normally dresses. I just told you guys last week. I, no, I listen, selectively sorry, sorry. dress look, appropriately look, you're when lot, I need you're to. You're doing a lot of filibustering. I just asked you a direct question. Are you going to scale back the way that you dress? Uh, absolutely. I just I do that anyway for my man. That's what I do. If he okay, says, well, if he, he, said, if he, well, he never has there is no me discussion. ever. So. Everything, you're right. going to scale absolutely, back and make yeah. no argument. But yeah, if you're going to say, you're not going to control the way that I, you got to go. I oh, you guys, you know what? No. No, no, as a matter of fact, can I just say this? As a matter of fact, yesterday I had a T-shirt on, and I personally felt like you could see my bra through it. Well, I knew you could. You could see my bra only because of the pattern of the bra. I asked him, was it disrespectful before he left? Do you see what I mean? Because I didn't want to make him uncomfortable because I didn't have another bra that I could find or whatever. And, you know, well, Kai, you wear bras. You know what I mean. So the thing is some bras have, like, a pattern. So basically the Wait pattern minute, was showing if you're, through if you're, the T-shirt. If you're asking for him to <laughs> sign off on your outfit before you leave, what are you giving all of this argument for about what I just said? I was waiting no, for her to finish said, so I could point out how no, crazy. No, 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 no. I just, I just, I just said, I just said, if it is offensive or a disrespectful amount of cleavage, I have no problem with appeasing him because it's about the relationship at the end of the day and how he feels about me when he's with me. Sean but there are different levels of cleavage. No, because you guys, you guys just put words in my mouth. You don't listen to what I say. I specifically I mean, said right a disrespectful you know amount of cleavage. The way, the way that she saying. dressed would not get us broken up. I would get tired of her mouth, and I would tell her to go. I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> there would be no way I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would break up with you before you broke with me, so we're even. You have got to go. You have got to go. <laughs> okay, how how am I being weird? Okay, and everybody explain. How am I being weird about this when I specifically said a disrespectful amount of cleavage? I've admitted that I've actually had some time, like I've worn some time. I said if my man comes to me and says, you know what, no, because that is disrespectful you, you made, you, you whatever, made a very then I don't have a problem you, with that. You made a very slick comment earlier. You said that most men that are, you know, secure with themselves, I've never known them to have a problem with cleavage or their blah, blah, blah. But general you, you cleavage, come... general cleavage, general, that's what I was talking. I said a disrespectful amount of cleavage is entirely different. I don't, I don't know what you, I don't okay. know what you want to do. The point being. General the, cleavage, the sometimes is... you can't even help it. I mean, the way that clothes are, sometimes you cannot help cleave it, like a little bit peeking okay, out. Cleavage is just a little bit right peeking out. Char, right? Char, Char, we know how cleavage works. Stop talking about the clothes. I'm, I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to wonder if you do because you're over judging. Like you're over. You're over judging. You're over judging women and what choices that they have to make when they get dressed. She's there's still a difference talking. between general cleavage and then a blue. Because she's still <laughs> talking. She has not stopped talking yet. Oh my God! Anyway, getting, getting like back it. to my statement, the, <laughs> the 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 irony of that 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 phrase that you said scenario is it, you're or not acknowledge no not scenario phrase. Oh, the, okay, the, you're, you're talking not acknowledge. Uh-huh. <laughs> I said uh huh. That means carry on. I said uh huh. I thought you were talking about something else. Uh huh. Uh huh means carry on. Continue. Okay. Are you really kidding me? Okay, you guys have an issue with me saying right. uh huh. Uh huh just All means right. go ahead. I'm listening. All right. Are, are All you right. finished, Logic? I'm getting there. So we should let him finish. Let him finish his statement. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> the irony of that statement is that it's usually insecure women that feel that they have to constantly push their titties in somebody's face in order to feel good about themselves. So it should not be a far stretch for a man to not want his woman to conduct herself in that way, especially if he's trying to go 
the distance. And borrowing from what uh, BJ said, he it's it's clear to men what men look at, what men are attracted to, whatever. So if he doesn't want a whole bunch of dudes out here ogling his chick in a sexual manner, if she's not putting herself out there as a sexual image all the time, like, look at my boobs and look at my ass and look at my whatever, he, normally guys are going to be like, no, uh-uh, cover that up. You know, no, you don't don't go out there with a skirt on that short, put something on that, about, you know, because they're, they're not going to want their woman to be a piece of meat out there. That's the point. So I'm not just going to be some schmuck with you sitting shotgun and three quarters of your titties is hanging out and you're just talking about, well, if you're secure, no, not with me. It's not happening. Okay, that makes sense, Logic, but we weren't talking about, I wasn't, never was I, I don't even know why we're having this part of the conversation. All I said was that a disrespectful amount of cleavage, I can respect that in in the sense that if my man says, you know what, don't wear that, that's whatever, I agree to, it's not a problem, but I don't dress like that 90% of the time. We, me, my man and I work together the entire day from 8 a.m. until 7 p.m. when I actually do go to work. So my point, so therefore, so there, you're not here, yeah, we were talking about me before, that was the whole point. You kept saying, sure, you said this, you said that. 90% of the time we work together, I'm in a semi-professional environment, meaning that I take it professionally because he's the owner, so I never, me personally, 90% of the week don't show any titties Sharks whatsoever. Really? No, what I, no, I'm, <laughs> listen, the people that, the people that work, that. this is my point. That. No, <laughs> no, the people oh, that, did you really say that? <laughs> <laughs> Very, okay, Damn. want, 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 good try, Kai. The people that work here choose to wear all this, you know, cleavage and high school, just this really raunchy stuff, in my opinion. I don't do that. I have to I have to represent him, and I know that I'm in a work environment. So 90% of our entire relationship, I'll put it that way, this time around this last year, I don't even dress that way whatsoever. If we go out on the town, which we do quite often when we're not working, I may or may not even make that choice. So him seeing me, he knows that it's only sometimes. And as an entertainer, when I was out modeling and signing contracts and all that, of course I'm going to be showing all of that because that's part of the deal but I, in my regular life I'm just quite a different person so that a lot of that didn't even apply to me like if you're just going to be dressing that way all the time like logic does that, anyone then remember you know, me isn't gonna work. specifically referencing her and when I was saying no. all of it Anybody yes, remember you do. Well, That's why you kept saying. First no. of all, Kai just said if we were in a relationship, if you and Char, then you said, well, Char, that's not what you said. And the other person knows Char. Yes, you were I was referencing saying, me. Because you were oh, saying, you know. bar none, across the board, that it would be completely ridiculous for me to say this to a person. That's what you said. So she put that scenario out there for you to better understand what I was saying because you kept trying to make it seem like I'm just being this controlling ogre. It's not that. You want to be a whore, be a whore. You just ain't going to be with me. Okay, but if okay, you, but to, you know, but did you? But Kai said, but Kai said, if if Char, you Kai specifically said to you, if your girl oh, dressed like Char does God. all the time, so how is my name not Char? That's what she said. If your girl dresses like Char all the time, how would you address her? What would you, you say? You know what Char? Excuse me, is. My, I'm Char. Char, You're not Char. I'm Char. Is directing a movie in her mind. And when everyone else's dialogue is going on, the and movie guess what? It's a blockbuster too. And then when it's it, a it's blockbuster. Time for her to get up to the mic and do what she has to do. And it'll blow. And my movies, my movie will blow more than Black Panther. And she's paying attention. And then once other people start talking again, it goes dark, and she doesn't get any information <laughs> coming in. That's the problem. That and I'm not, telling you right now. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. I don't care true. how you. I don't care how you dress. I don't care how professional you are. I would have thrown you out of a window because of your <laughs> mouth, of all things, your mouth. <laughs> uh, oh, Woo. okay. I have a serious question for you, Char. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm seriously. I'm trying to understand women who are like this. Cause I, I'm not I'm I'm not like this. My daughter is like this. How, my how are we like, like this? How are we like? Some of, hold what do you on. Mean like this. Some people that I know are like this. So I'm just trying to understand. So like okay, like when Logic said, you know, Shar's playing a movie in her head, and you immediately instead of waiting to finish hearing what he's saying, you had to come out and say it's a blockbuster. It's this. It's this. You're talking over him. Like what? When somebody's talking and they, they say something that you don't agree with, or they say something that you feel that you have to um, come back on, 
just what what like what goes on in your head and i'm i'm just being like a reporter here just seriously just asking what goes on in your head that you can't hold the answer back until the person is finished saying whatever they're saying Oh, uh, because if it sounds like BS and you're and he that person's being sarcastic, there's no need for me to allow him to complete all the sarcasm when I know that's exactly where he's getting at. He's being sarcastic and he's being facetious and he's being all of these things. And so I'm like, no, that's because if you if for him to say what he said was already rude and sarcastic. Oh, she's directing and moving her head. That's why I say, yeah, and it'd be a blockbuster. What's wrong with that? That's the truth. That's what it would be, a blockbuster. Gross more than Black Panther. Because he's being sarcastic, so why do I have to respect that? I don't have to respect sarcasm. But, Kai, as much as you argue on the show with everybody else, too, you do the same thing. You don't listen to everything Logic says. If Logic is talking, you cut him off six ways from Sunday. Like, why don't rice, like, why don't rice in a paper plate and a glass of milk in a snow, snowstorm? You're all over him. No worse than me. What? So I'm like, explain yourself. Okay. You do the same right, thing. Things. You don't let people finish all the time. Two things. First of all, I wasn't just talking about this sarcastic comment. <laughs> I'm talking about any time. Secondly, um, <clears throat> no, I, I really don't cut people off. I, I really don't. Okay. And it seems like every time that I ask a question that, again, you feel like I'm coming at your neck, you always have to redirect and be like, well, she did it too. Look over there. He did it too. I'm asking you a question. I asked you what goes on in your head because I'm really just trying to figure this out. That's it. That's it. I wasn't coming at your neck. I even went out of my way to say, I'm just asking just out of curiosity, blah, 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 blah. I'm not, I'm not talking negatively about you, I'm not coming at you. I just wanted to know. Good God. It might help me with my daughter because she does the same thing. <sighs> hey, Logic, it's, it's, like, it's like two women sitting on a bridge talking to each other like, I got a question for you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. It's not like yeah, that one because of one of them is going to get pushed jump. off the bridge. That's for sure. <laughs> I, know, so I can't do it. Jump first. <laughs> Anyways, um, okay. So we <laughs> talked about dressing. So logic. What about male friends? So say your girl had male Absolutely friends before not. y'all got together. But I didn't finish. I didn't finish. Your girl oh, had sure. male just friends cut her before off y'all got finished the question. Uh, and okay, we'll, the male we'll, friends we'll were, like, off. way back from when she was little, like, I don't know, three. It was her next-door neighbor. Oh. You know, they've stayed in contact, oh. whatever, whatever, whatever. So what yeah. is your take on that? Is she a quadriplegic? Is he? No, he's not. Mm. Is he no, even if he was, they could still they could still have sex, and even it, if it was he was an MPP and stuff. If that's the case, <laughs> then it was meant to be. So, you know, happy trails. But no, um, I, you know, I hear a lot of girls say this, and oh, you know, he's like my brother. Yeah, but um, your brother wants to bang you now because you have titties. <laughs> you know, so um, you need to get that through your head. All you women out there that think. Because you grew up next to whomever, and you went to school, and you hooked him up with his girlfriend, or whatever the case, whatever the horse shit is that you tell yourself. In the end of the day, there's sexual tension there. And I'm not going to be the guy to sit around and try to play this, you know, sitcom situation. Like, you know, I really trust her. And, you know, I just know that I... No. Take, Take it easy, you know. All about your business. I uh, mean, you, you I I don't agree because if 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 she's known this guy from since she was little, I mean, I'm pretty sure by now she can control herself at least. Um, and it's not, it, it's it not about shouldn't her. be. It wouldn't. That's but it wouldn't be her. fair for you to tell for you to tell somebody who's had a friend, a childhood friend, that now that you're in the picture, which you could just be a bump in the road, but now that you're in the picture. She has to let go of her childhood friend. Listen, absolutely. That's why I don't force it. I say, hey, if this person is that important to you, take it easy, have a good one, and I wish you all the best in life. But I'm ro- I'm walking, and that's always been the thing. Like I, I, you know, I get into these discussions with friends of mine. I've never been hard up for chicks. I've never been somebody that's like, oh man, I really. You know, I found this great girl. It's going to be another great one. It's going to be another one that comes along 
that does the things that she does or it was into the whatever. There's these little small differences in personality, but the buck doesn't stop with any one girl, you know, and if she's not willing to give me the quality of life that I'm looking for, then take a walk. But I'm not going to sit there and negotiate anything. I have certain things that will, they're just game changers for me and not happening. And that guy friend stuff, I don't, any girl that's going to be a grown woman and she's running around with predominantly men around her is usually she has a self-esteem problem or she is a slut and doesn't want to admit that she's a slut and she likes male attention. And just like what BJ said, she likes to use men around her to do different things in her life. And she's trying to cover it up by, oh, these are friends and blah, blah, blah. How could you have more in common with a man than you do with a woman? You're a woman. You know what I'm saying? So there's nothing (laughs) between women and men except sex. I don't care how many cartoons you used to watch together. That was then. This is now. You know, you do you really think if Halle Berry grew up with some dude that he wouldn't be looking at her and wanting to smash her in the back of his head like, man, I wonder what is she never she wasn't going to look like that before, but now she done grown up. Yeah, that happens. And it's the same thing with women. Women try to act like they're so, I, I can't control myself. You're a damn liar because I'm telling you right now, Kai, if you grew up with a dude that looked like Jason Momoa and had the green eyes and the, the accent that you like, no matter how many sandboxes you played in together, you'd be smashing him dirty. You know what I mean? And wouldn't be mm, telling nobody. Not necessarily. If he had a bad, if he had a bad rep and everything like that, no, I wouldn't. There you go. You, listen, there you you're go. peppering horse shit on it. What I'm, I'm just basing it specifically on looks. If he was a nice guy, and if he continued to act like the friend you always cared about and loved all these years as a brother, you'd be banging your brother. That's what you'd be doing. First of all, ill. Second of all, we would have been in the relationship, so it wouldn't have Ill mattered. Ill to anyway. what? Ill to what? No, what are you saying ill to? I'd be banging my brother. That's kind of disgusting. He, well, that's what women say, that that's their brother. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying yes. Well, no, if I brother. actually tell somebody that I think about them as my brother or sister, then that's exactly how I think about them. I would be able you would to only say that be and you acknowledge. Would only say that about I would be able to be. I would be able to see and acknowledge that said person is good looking and, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's the same thing as my brothers. I would be able to see and acknowledge that they're good looking, but it doesn't mean I want to Listen, sleep you're, with you're, them. Well, look, you're so, lying to yourself because, like I said, if I am if, not lying to myself. It, no, it is. It is a lie. If you grew up, let's say um, you were cool with a guy from birth all the way up until around middle school, right? And you always like, that's my brother. That's my brother. He's like my brother. And he went away. His family moved away for a couple of years. And he blossomed into this everything that you've been looking for. And he came back. All of that brother stuff will be out the window. You would not be telling other women, oh, he's like my brother. Because you would start getting territorial. You wouldn't want them getting close to him because you would see the way they'd be looking at him. And, uh, no, you know, he's, he's a nice guy. You stay away from her. You'd be cock-blocking. If they was yeah. trying to talk yeah. to him, you'd be like, oh, no, 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 I don't yeah. play like that. That's a, he's yeah. very close to me, and blah, blah, blah. you will be blocking because your nether regions will start tingling, okay? Only time women talk that brother stuff is if they use the guy or they're ashamed to they admit that they like him because he's, you know, on a lower level and they know it, or or he's just ugly, and they just, again, keep him around because they don't, they have social problems. They can't make friends, so they just keep dudes because dudes are easier. Dudes are interested into you, attracted to you, so it's an easier thing to be a friend with a guy because he wants to bang you, and all you got to do is just have fun and soak up all of the attention. Where with a woman, it's a lot of mind games you got to play. That's why we do it. Well, I don't fully agree with you on. That whole thing, like I said, if I say if somebody's like my brother, then he's like my brother doesn't mean he's ugly or anything like that. It just means that, you know, you this is how I feel about him. The, the of I'm not right. dodging anything. Another thing that I want to point out is how you right, said so most if women. A dude, if a dude was looking like Jon Snow and built like <laughs> The Rock and you grew up with him, you mean to tell me you're just going to be pointing him into the direction of the next nearest good woman that you know of? <laughs> 
once really, again, it depends. If he, it depends if he looked on, at you with that Irish yeah, accent finished. and those sapphire yeah, eyes, and said, it depends Hi. on Hi. his Hi. personality. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, you he's keep good taking it to the Irish personality. Accent. Wait, hold on. Kai, you've never dealt with a guy that you didn't totally like his personality? What? I'm not getting with him. I don't care. Listen to me. You keep trying to make this an ugly thing. I'm if the dude is a complete pig that's walking around with draws hanging from but his antenna on his car talking about here we go. Got another one last night. I don't expect you to want to line up and be the next victim. What I'm saying is a dude that is a a, a classic, you know, a coochie getter. He's a nice guy, talks soft, takes girls out, knows how to, you know, be smooth with it and everything like that. You talked about the same things that you always liked over the years. He was a dude that made you feel real comfortable and looked every single way that you liked. You're going to sit here and tell me you wouldn't be banging this dude. I already That's what told you're saying? you that. I already told you that if that was the case, we would have been in a relationship anyway, and you nobody else would have been having this conversation with out of the me. window. That's exactly my point. There's no friendship. You're not friends. When you're young and you're too young to understand what sex is and that part of your brain is not active yet, sure. And yeah. But once that once puberty starts hitting and sex becomes a factor, that's not your friend. It's not. There's going to be sexual tension. Now, I'll give women credit. They might not be looking at somebody that's looking at them that way, and they be, might truly be shocked, like, what? So-and-so likes me. When did that happen? But every situation that you see where a guy or a girl, especially if they're grown folks older, over the age of 25, and they're talking about, oh, we're friends, one of them likes the other, if not both, and they've already smashed and tried to then turn it into a friend thing. It, it's always something like that. It, it is and never just... Happen, yeah. She likes video games, and I like video games, and we just play video games, and that's it. No. No. The other thing I wanted to point out is you stated that um, usually women who hang around primarily men, you said they have no self-esteem, or they have self-esteem problems, or they're sluts. I am neither. I just hang around guys because it's very difficult for me to understand women. And I don't have anything, I don't want to say so, anything in so common, you're, but when it comes to me, chilling or something. Me, you're telling me that there is in no way, shape, or capacity that your self-esteem suffers in any way and that you don't find it easier to navigate amongst men because half the work is already done for you. Men are going to like you because they're attracted to you, so you don't have to try. No. Really? No. She said, she said really, no. Kai? No. No, I don't, I, I don't agree uh, with you. Just remember, I know a couple of people that you were friends with, and I know how they used to talk. Okay, so you might be living in a fantasy land right now. I, again, I that. don't. They want to I, smash. <laughs> again, I don't, I don't agree with you. I I'm I sure hang out with sure guys because don't. they like doing the same things, that, most of the same things, not all of them, but most of the same things mm-hmm. I do. When I hang out mm-hmm. with women, I get really bored and I just sit like there. What? Because like always, what? Give me an example. Okay, women usually just want to talk. They want to talk about their kids. They want to talk about their husbands or their boyfriends. They just always want to talk. I okay. don't want to talk. What, what, what do, I want to, what okay, do, for men, instance, for what do instance, you like instance, to hang on. out with men hold and on, do? Hold on, let me tell you, let me tell you. For instance... I went to Dave and Buster's with my my daughter and then uh, one of my female friends and her children. We stood there talking the whole time while the kids were having fun. That's not my idea. My idea is that while they're playing, I'm playing too. Women don't do that. There was one time I went out with a group of women. All the kids went on the bouncy house and had fun. They just sat there talking. Now you're starting to get like Char, Kai. I'm I'm explaining to you. Listen to me. Let me explain something to you. I understand why women are not interesting. I get it. That's why I know it's, it's <laughs> horse shit when men try to act like, oh, I'm like hanging around with her. Yeah, what does she do? But this, I've, I've, I've not heard many women have something witty and funny to say. They're usually dead weight. 
in a conversation or they're just, they don't have a sense of humor. They take things too seriously. Typically, that's how women are. A lot of times, that's how they are. Not all the time. There's some funny girls out there. There's some cool chicks out there, but it's very few. Most women are pain in the ass, okay? Now, what I'm asking you is, what do you do with men when you hang out with them? We play. We have fun. We play video play games. Play what? Even play, would, play what? I just play said what? That we play video games. We are, we're always joking and laughing. All right, here's a question. Like here's a question. Paintball. And be honest, do not lie. If you like playing video games with men, did any male friend ask you to come over his house? to play video games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, In the online world of gaming, that's not a thing anymore. No man that I know that plays games right now asks other men to come to his house to play video games. games. They usually just play online. So this is what I'm telling you. You chicks don't understand (laughs) what's going on. He wanted you to come over. Just like yep. men want women to come over and Netflix and chill. That's chill. just yep. a Netflix way, a pathway into trying to see if he can bang yep. you or if he knows he can't bang you. He want to go and hang out with you. Go to Dave and Buster's yeah. with your daughter. Sure, no problem. Because I get to go to Dave and Buster's and look at your ass when you're not looking. Yep. I get to go Figure hang around you and get to laugh and ha 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 and touch you and everything. So again, yeah. then, 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 that's true. 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 That's That's what y'all is saying, who then has the low self-esteem? The girl who is not what? aware of this, who thinks they're actually friends, or the dude who just hangs around her, I can see your ass. <laughs> I can see your ass. What the hell? I'm going to tell you. Listen, I'm not saying that these guys are alphas. They're total betas. Okay, but my thing is women have low self-esteem because you're not as dumb as you try to act like you are. You're not the babe of the woods that you try to say that you are. You know what's going on, and you participate in that because it's an ego boost. That's the same reason that these young chicks go hang out at these old folks' bars and want to get these 60- and 70-year-old men cracking on them like, hey, how you doing? Watch out now. You want to go you wanna cut a rug or whatever? <laughs> Why? You're 27 that, years that old. Nasty. What are you doing in this that's establishment? Right, Why are you here? Right. Why that's just right. like the music? Shut up and go listen Shut to up. the radio. You have no <laughs> reason to be here except you want these old men to crack Sugar on you because you don't look good <laughs> enough for niggas in your age bracket. You are going now messing with old guys. That's how you're getting your ego to boost because this that's what they do. This is what women do. It's the same thing with these club rats that go out to the club every single Friday and Saturday. And as they go out there and they rock and they put their come bang me boots on and their their dresses and everything because it gives them an ego boost to get men coming over there, hey, can I buy you a drink? And hey, and blah, blah, blah. She knows she's not interested. But it's a way for her to feel better about herself. Good attention. You got nothing in common with men. You don't even know how men think. I just said this to you, and you didn't know that that's more than likely why this guy was asking you to come over and play video games. In your mind, oh, I just want to play video games. You don't even know how dudes operate. So you, ha- how can you be friends? If I don't, I didn't even have to finish my comment but before you gave me exactly what I was talking thing. about. I don't know how women operate either. I'm, I'm supposed to be friends with them. So by your definition, wow. I should just be by myself. What are you talking about, Kai? What, what does that mean? What are you talking Kai's about? Rare. You Kai just said, rare. I don't know how men operate. Good and fine. I don't know how men operate. You, I don't you, know how so women operate you, either. You over the age of 30, you have no clue how women move. None of that computes with you at you, all. You out just of everybody in... on this planet know that I still try and figure women out. I just finished asking Shar a question because completely just don't understand why women do whatever she was doing. Because Shar's full of shit. Now we we've established that already. <laughs> what are you talking about? That listen listen to what the statement that she made. No matter what kind of uh, t shirt she wears, her titties pop out. Pop out of where? 
the armpit, <laughs> the, armpit. the neck hole, what, <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. She's full of shit because what she didn't want to say was that anytime she wears a T-shirt, it's a low-cut T-shirt. It's a T-shirt with the cleavage out because if yeah, she admitted be, that, yep. then I would be able to point her out on her bullshit. Like, okay, so you're buying that every T-shirt you buy has the cleavage out. That's the problem. I'm not. I'm talking about a regular T-shirt. T-shirt. That, that wouldn't make really? sense. So what she's trying to do is lie about the situation and try to act like, oh, my titties are so huge, you have no idea. Like, well, well, like uh, you know, it's crazy. You, you didn't know that she was full of shit when she made that statement? You were confused when this was happening? Or did you pick up on it immediately? Were you lost? <sighs> yeah, see, you Sorry, knew exactly Peter. what she was doing. But this is the thing. You, just like Shar, you don't want to say, I don't like hanging out with women because women irritate me because I know what they do. I have no problem saying that. No, but you try to act like you just don't understand them. You understand them. You just don't like them. And men don't like them. Men only tolerate women because they want to bang them. Bang them. Every dude that I know, and I'm talking to the guy that loves his wife to death, she still, in his eyes, does goofy shit. Then he's just, what the f-? No, I, of course I love <laughs> yeah. you. What are you talking yeah. about? You don't, what are you, why would I be looking at this yeah. woman? I'm married to you. I've been married to you for 27 years. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm not looking at her. What, what are you talking about? I love you. <laughs> so, you don't say it, no. Okay, let me ask. Great. Let me ask real quick. So, BJ, I hear you back there being logic's hype man. I have what? a question. No, Are don't you, do, do that. If he's, no, if he's no. agreeing, he's agreeing. See, I'll, you're now you're, 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 you're you playing those act, ugly games that women do play. You act, do you? I'm not. What are you saying? What you saying? Do you? My question to BJ is: Do you act the same way logic acts? Like you, act. you. Put stipulations act. on act. what your woman would Hold wear. Up. You don't allow her to be friends with men, stuff like that. No, you can't. No, no friends with men. That's like there's no act. There's no friends with men. It's, it's going to lead to one thing. And the dress thing. Yeah, you got to dress a certain way. You can't dress sluttish with me. You can't. You, you you can't. I'm not having that either. Listen, Kai. I'm a, I'm gonna give you a challenge, and I'm I'm serious about this. I will give you a hundred dollars if you can find a man that a isn't a, a soft back dude. He's a real a real guy with a spine that actually loves his girl and loves her at a level of other people respecting her is paramount to him because he will, he will not tolerate anyone disrespecting his wife and loving, you know, it's like he'll love, he loves her like that. And he's not one of these dudes that is constantly in the street chasing skirt. If you can find me a guy that cherishes his woman who is a devout, steady, non-cheating guy, and he's invested in her, her dreams, her everything, and he you know knows everything that she wants to achieve, but most importantly, he's gotten to know the things that makes her sad and upset so he can avoid that kind of stuff. He really put a lot of time and effort into building his relationship with his woman. If you can find me that guy who then does not care if she goes out the house dressed like a prostitute, I'll give you $100. I'm a but guarantee you, you, you ain't going to find it. You put that stipulation in there, he has a spine. So now it's according to you whether this guy has a spine or not. No, all you listen, all I have to do is hear about certain situations. If he is a guy that allows his girl, said wife that I'm talking about, to dictate to him, like, I'm not going to blah, blah, blah. He sits there like, well, you know, okay, but I just, ain't got no spine. you know, whatever yeah. makes you comfortable. He doesn't have a spine because he's not willing to stand up to his woman and say, no, I'm not, I, I'm not accepting that. You're not going to sit here and tell me what I'm going to accept in this relationship. You either do this or we're not going to be able to be together. And as many women as, you know, I guess a lot of chicks think a lot of chicks hate me, but a lot of girls really like the way that I come off. Some can't handle it because they're girls, they're little girls, but mature women who understand that I'm not full of shit here, I don't run around. I don't have to keep secrets from you if I don't like you and I'm looking at somebody else or I'm trying to talk to somebody else. Then that means that you're not at a level enough for me 
where I feel that being faithful to you is necessary. So I'm not going to waste my own time because you're not at a level high enough. Obviously, this other girl that I'm talking to is a higher level than you, so I just talked to her. I've never cheated. Don't need to cheat because it's it's a weak man's move in order to try to be happy. I'd rather just be happy in my life, and if that means you ain't around, okay, well, then take a walk. I don't, I've never had to negotiate ever in a relationship for anything. So my thing is, if he lets his girl railroad him and say, you ain't going to tell me what I'm going to, okay, then he doesn't have a spine. So I'm saying a dude that has a spine can stand up to his woman, but he's not a tyrant, loves her, invests in the relationship, and does not allow anyone to anyone or anything to rock that. That dude is not going to be willing to just let anybody look at his girl like she's a stripper. He's not going to be comfortable with it. I defy you to find that guy. Okay. I would say, you know, if there are any listeners out there who know somebody like that, but people lie a lot. So. <laughs> they lie a lot. Like, like, There's a lot of women. Them. Listen, you know what else they lie about? There's a lot of women that would love to have a guy that looks at them the way I just said that I would look at my woman. They'll never admit <laughs> it, though. Shar? Yes, I'm here. I was about to say, Shar just walked away. But that's no, you're not running into everything we've said. I'm surprised you didn't jump in and say that's your guy. I can't say that. Back in the day, I was off the chain. Say listening. Go ahead. What? Okay, then. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> One of our listeners messaged in and said they're thinking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, um. So I guess Char is just like she's completely dropped this. She's probably talking to her dude, her friend, or drinking alcohol right now. Um. And I, I will, I will put it to listeners out there. No, you're not getting the hundred dollars. Just letting you know. But I would put it to our listeners out there to message in or call in if you know any guy like that that Logic was describing and he still allows his woman to wear basically anything she wants to wear. So if she wants to wear tight, tight jeans or leggings as pants or low-cut cleavage or whatever, message in. Um, and no, no, not, a, not only message to, in, but have this guy, whoever he is, call, call in so I can call question him. him. I want to hear that one. No, actually, because we only have like 30 minutes left today, I would like them to message in so we can have, we can set up something where we can call them or they can call in and we can actually talk to them. This challenge can go on to next week. I'm I'm going to give them time to find this guy. And I want him to call in so I can talk to him and question him myself. I'm curious. Like, what the? How long do you want another But y'all can actually go- email us at noconductradio at gmail.com. That's noconductradio at gmail.com. Or go to our Facebook page, No Conduct Radio, and send us a message there. And if you have said dude in mind um, and he would like to come on the show, we'll go ahead and set, it, set him up to come on the show. And I'm going to say one so more the- thing to wrap this topic up. In every country – you go to that isn't affected by this social media stuff and how people tell men how they're supposed to act and men just go off of instinct, you know, these these third world countries, everywhere you go, no matter what religion they are, what nationality, whatever their their racial divide is so-called, all people, all men who invest in their women and their families do not allow their women to, to go out there dress crazy. They all are territorial. It's just a good thing. Yeah, because I had major arguments with my ex when we we go out. She always wanted to um, wear crazy stuff. I realized, man, if you get to arguments, she called me all kinds of names, but she's going back in the house and wore the right thing. It's crazy, man. Every yeah. <laughs> heated arguments, heated arguments. I got called the N word to everything. I'm like, what? Cause, hey, uh, you're not going to see the me like that, huh? Mm-mm. So, yeah, I mean, I think twice a month we had hours like that, and that's been what over like six years. Damn, yeah, it's crazy. Cause you wanted to wear whatever. 
definitely not. I, ain't happy. I, I have, like, I have questions from that, but that would lead into a whole different topic, so I'm not going to ask. What are you saying, Char? Well, well how risque was she dressing? And um, I mean, uh, okay, and the, okay. also the fact she, that she, she gave me such a for his liking. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I, yeah, there you go. Right there. Okay. So moving along, okay. we put that we put we put that topic out there to you listeners. Email us at noconductradio at gmail dot com or go to our Facebook page, No Conduct Radio, and let's see if we could have him on and prove and prove logic wrong. That's going to be the name of the contest: prove logic wrong. <laughs> so whoever can prove logic wa- wrong, you will be infamous in No Conduct Radio. Uh, in the meantime. <clears throat> I'm going to start this game, and uh, basically, if you know the answer, don't hesitate to message us in. You can message us from our Facebook page, No Conduct Radio, um, or you can actually text in your answer, 484-840-3627. That's 484-840-3627. So we're going to play, Are You Smarter Than a 10-Year-Old? So that's basically like fifth grade and stuff, but I don't want to say, I didn't want to say, are you smarter than a fifth grader? So I'm going to ask a couple questions, uh, and we're going to see who gets these answers. We're going to see if Logic is as smart as everybody thinks he is. Because uh, oh, Char likes what, to call what's him. What's going on with that? Well, because Char <laughs> likes to call you know-it-all Logic or something she calls you. What is so, Char? And we, always no, say if we, and we always say if we have a question, Logic will know the answer, so... No? Well, well, know it all almost sounds like I'm saying you're a know it all, but I always call him the all knowing logic because I feel like he does have an extensive, uh, I don't know, ex- amount of information from a lot of different topics and genres of, in life. Like, there's so many things that he can have the answers to. So that's why. Yeah. And that's the name of the So, I mean, I'm not trying to look, I'm not being mushy. I'm not lifting you way up to the sky. I'm just saying that's just how I perceive you and I think other people do. And then your name, logic, does apply. Think about it. So, yeah. okay. So this is how this is how we're gonna play this game. I'm mm-hmm. gonna ask the question, and the first person to know the answer, just say your name, like Logic, BJ, Char, and then I'll call on you, and you give me the answer. Okay. Okay. And I'll keep score. Okay. And if if the if the listeners get the answer first, then you know they're the ones who's gonna win. Logic, <laughs> BJ, Char, listeners. There. All right, so <laughs> first question. How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? How many cups are in 28 fluid ounces? Wait, eight? I mean, Char, sorry. Go ahead, Char. <laughs> eight? <laughs> oh, my God. Wait a minute! I just realized the question. Oh, I'm dumber than a ninth grade. I mean, a nine-year-old. Not a ninth. Grade. <laughs> How many cups you know are in twenty-eight ounces? How many cups are in twenty-eight fluid ounces? What was that? Eight. Maybe because oh, I bake a lot, I know this answer. Oh, what you okay. say, BJ? Three. And logic. What's your answer? Uh, you said twenty. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, well, BJ is the closest. It's three and a half. Oh, really? Is it it half? Yes. Eight ounces are in one cup. 28 divided by eight is 3.5. Right. Oh, my God. It's probably because I bake. That's why I know that answer. That makes sense. Oh, that's right. That makes sense. You said. No, it does. No, I'm saying it makes sense. Times three, 24. Yeah, go ahead. (laughs) <laughs> BJ, <Okay>. go roll. <laughs> what are those white, puffy clouds that are known as fair weather clouds? Do y'all remember that? Logic. No, I don't. No, I don't. Okay, Logic, go ahead. Cumulus. Logic is such a What? Nice. Yes, it's cumulus. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, what? I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you remembered that. Damn. Okay, so... Between 1455 and 1485, the War of the Roses took place in what country? Logic. Go ahead, Logic. England. 
<laughs> oh, my God, he's right. <laughs> How the hell do you know that? I didn't even know there was a War of the Roses. It was about the kings taking the crowns from each other, and it was about this king's brother saying that he oh had, God. you know, rights over his nephew. Hold on. I got to check on something. <laughs> wow. <sighs> okay, well. Okay, another question is, and he, and he put us on hold on, on air, on live radio. He put us on hold. <laughs> he said, oh, no, I got to Google some <laughs> <The hell>? more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Logic, we're in the middle of a game in live radio. We'll just hold I'm for back. you, no problem. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. God. <laughs> You, you there, Shard Jr.? <laughs> All right. No, so, I left something in the oven. I forgot. I, I had it. I'll hold that. <laughs> You're all right, Shard. All right, fired. so next question. A common type of radio wave is referred to as VHF. What do the letters VHF stand for? No clue. Oh, and, 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 I know, I know one's frequency, but I don't know the rest. <laughs> Damn. No, no, very no, high frequency. Like I know one's frequency. Oh, I was gonna go freak. I was gonna guess the F is for freak. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It is. <laughs> it's it's, it's very. Yes, of course, Char. Yes, logic is right. Very <laughs> high frequency. Okay. That was good. That was good. <laughs> All right. So okay. if if why is it saying Trace? If Trace, T-R-E-S, so I guess Trace. If Trace is facing north and turns 90 degrees to his right, what direction is he now facing? Logic. Go ahead, Logic. Oh, is Trace, what? He's facing uh, east now. Correct? If this person, hold on, hold on, let's have to guess. If this person is facing north and he turns 90 degrees to his right, what direction is he now okay. facing? Logic already, logic already called it. Yes, 90 degrees to his right. West. That's my answer. Okay. Me or are you letting her answer? Okay, she answered. No, logic, go. What are you saying, Logic? Because Logic said it first. He's facing oh, he north 90 degrees to his left. To his right. Right. To his right. Oh, east. All right. East is correct. Which is the one that yeah, I got? I said to. East and Charm. I just said East and I took you it back and changed west. it to West. No, no, no. It's first. You said, you said West. Back. You said West. You said West. You said West. Okay, you. Like you right? Take the L. It's take hard. the L. But I second guessed myself. I, I have honestly okay. only heard you say West. No, no, no. I said East at first, and then I stopped, and then Logic, you oh. know, gave his answer, and I was like, Oh, dude. No, then I changed it to West. I okay. it. I don't like when I do that. I don't feel comfortable okay, when I answer. Okay, but this is this is but this is why I say call out your name so I could call you and you answer. So we're not talking over each other and I don't hear your answer. Okay, 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 got it. Okay. All right. The classic Hans Christian Andersen fairy tale, The Real Princess, is better known as The Princess and the What? Oh, I know this. Logic. Whoa. Go ahead, Logic. <laughs> Is it the frog? No, I was right. Me, I was actually right. No, it wasn't the princess and the frog. It was the princess and the pea. I definitely knew that one. Oh, <laughs> you call your oh, oh, the mattress thing. Well, yeah, it's, oh. it's also known as the real I'm princess. It, when I was in Germany, I uh-huh. read all of Han Christian Andersen fairy tales, so that's how I knew that one. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, I read a lot. Well, I uh, listen to her message in and said frog, but no, it's the princess and the pea. I don't think a lot of people know that story. Um, no, I don't know that. Look up the princess and the pea, and it's a, 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 a princess right? who, yeah, yeah right, yeah, thing, yeah, exactly. Damn. Okay, so oh, next cool. question. Next question. Which word contains a long vowel sound in the following sentence? So which word contains a long vowel sound in the following sentence. Dogs like tennis balls. Dogs like tennis balls. Um, yes, which um, word has a long vowel sound? Dogs like tennis balls. Uh, BJ likes. Go ahead, BJ. Likes. 
correct. What? So far, except for the war thing, I've gotten all of them right. Wait what? a minute. Long Wait, vowel I'm... sounds. Long what? vowel sounds. Char. Long vowel sounds sound like the letter. So like I. Um, I definitely went over my head too. Okay. Well, so so I'm far, it's logic continue. four. Bj one. Listener zero. <laughs> Char zero. <laughs> All right, so Budapest. (laughs) Okay, next question. Budapest is the capital of what European country? Logic. Dread logic. I mean, so sorry, 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 sorry. Can I have to answer first, or do you want to go logic? What was she (laughs) saying? She couldn't say her name, dude. (laughs) What is? What is it, Char? I mean, isn't it Turkey? <laughs> I don't know. You said you were Turkey, right? She That's said Turkey. Did you say Turkey? No, I didn't say Turkey. Okay, so I, logic. I logic. 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 Okay. I'm not logic. Oh, I mean. Yes. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I guess what? Turkey and Hungary would logically <laughs> go together, right? <laughs> no, I'm so hungry. <laughs> uh, okay. really, that's what it was. All right, now a National Historic Park. What site was headquarters for George Washington's army in the winter of 1777 to 78? BJ. Oh, wasn't it? Um, wait, 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 Logic, wait, wait, wait. BJ said it first. Go ahead, BJ. Was it Valley Forge? It was Valley Forge. Good job. That I didn't know. Did you know that because it was here? No. Yeah, did you know it was there? No. (laughs) Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know that. Now National Historical Park, what site was headquarters for George Washington's army in the winter of 1777? I didn't know that was Valley Forge. That's interesting. Valley Forge. Okay, what, what is the simple predicate in the following sentence? So what is the simple predicate in the following sentence? Taylor body slammed her opponent. Taylor body slammed uh, her opponent. What is the predicate? Uh, opponent. I like you how Shar says her name first. You can call oh, Shar. <laughs> no, it was actually body slammed. I didn't remember oh, what a predicate was, but I did guess the answer was body slammed. But I couldn't remember what a okay. predicate was. I can't remember. Right. Action, action word. It's like an action, like an action word or something. Is it? So then, oh, yeah, action. it would be body slammed. Because yeah. Taylor is in yeah. line. Right. Yeah, so. Yeah. Right. All right. So let's see. By definition, a prism is a solid figure that has how many congruent bases? By definition, a prism is a solid figure that has how many congruent bases? Damn. Oh, oh, I knew, oh my God. I've seen a prism before, but haven't counted all that. <laughs> <laughs> I see one before, but they get it in. I can't even. <laughs> but I didn't call it any more. That's a lot of stuff. All right, so while they're thinking about that, if you want to message in, you can go to No Conduct Radio and message us there, or you could text in at 484-840-3627. That's 484-840-3627. So a prism is a solid figure that has how many congruent bases? I don't know. Nobody? Listeners? I have no messages coming in. Logic, nothing? Yeah, I got it. I'm just trying to. Okay, because I was about to say what I think it is. Go ahead, Logic. Let me get the answer. Well, prism is is two parallel bases, right? Uh, You said a prism is what? There's usually two parallel bases, right? I don't know. Let's see if it's two. I was going to guess six because wouldn't a prism be like a a triangle? So you put it all together. 
it would have six. I don't know. This is what I'm guessing, but let's try two. I hate you, Logic. I hate you with a passion. Logic is right. Tell me about the Anyways. No, but, 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 but prisms can be different, like, shapes. It's not always the same well, shape. I was thinking a prism is mine. Okay, I guess. Oh, oh, oh I see where you're them. coming from, Logic. Okay, yeah, 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 I could get, I get it, I got it. Okay. All right, next question. If you'll get to the next question. All right, in 1821, Moses and Stephen Austin received 18,000 acres of land in what would become what U.S. state? In 1821, Moses and Stephen Austin received 18,000 acres of land in what would become what U.S. state? Moses and Stephen Austin. I don't know who that is. Uh, I don't know who that is. Oh, Char. Char. I'm just going to go ahead, Char. Char. Texas? Go ahead, Char. That's what I was guessing because his name is Austin, but that's a small amount of land. So I was thinking maybe like Utah or something, but let's see Texas. Yeah, Texas oh, is right. I think it's going to be the size. Oh, what's right? No, but you're right, Char. You're actually right because I was thinking his name, Austin. So that's what I was that's thinking about. That's what I was about. thinking too. Mm-hmm. All right. Next question. <clears throat> Which of the following is a homophone for the word one? Which of the following is a homophone for the word one? One, O-N-E, now, N-O-W, lost, L-O-S-T. One, <laughs> BJ, now. Okay, BJ says now. Shar, what were you saying? I, said, I didn't hear the last word. I'm sorry. I heard one now. Okay, which of the following the is a homophone for the word one? W O N. Okay. Which is the following mm-hmm. is a homophone for the word one? W O N. O N E one N O W now L O S T lost. Oh my God. I'm actually just going to go with the O the O N E. I don't know. Maybe they can actually. Maybe it means something else. I I'm thinking it. now. I'm just going to go no, it's actually one. So a homophone is a word that sounds alike but means something completely different or it's spelled different. Right. So Jar got it. Well, wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Say, wait, say, say that question again. Yeah. Which of the following is a homophone for the word one, W-O-N? Is it O-N-E, one, N-O-W, now, or lost, L-O-S-T? Because it means the same thing. It just means the same thing, but it's spelled different. I mean, it's uh, the same you, thing. You know what's throwing me off about the way you said that? You just you said one, but you didn't yeah, spell it. And then you said one, right. and then I man, all then like lost. The, which, sec- the second time I said it, because I realized I didn't spell it initially. But, yeah, I spelled oh. it the second time I said it. No, no, no. I, so, I didn't know that. I so the number first one. we thought you okay. were calling W-O-E, but not W-O-N. But once I realized it means the same, it's kind of like another word for, you know, it sounds like that word, but it's spelled different. But at first I was like, did she say W-O-N or just O-N-E? So, anyway. <laughs> Next question. Sometimes if you take this <laughs> if you take the square root of 16 and add it to the square root of 9, the answer you get is the square root of what other number? So if you take the square root of 16 and add it to the square root of 9, the answer you get is the square root of what number? 7. Hold on. I mean, Char, add, sorry, sorry, Char. Hold on, say that again. You, if you ahead. take the square root of... 16 and add it to the square root of 9, the answer you get is the square root of what other number? So, Char, you say Char. 7? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, Anybody else? Can I come by? No, no, go ahead. Darn. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. Uh, I guess this is 25. You said 25, BJ? Yeah. Okay, Logic, you got anything? Nope. All right. It's actually 49. Okay. Okay. And I honestly have no idea how they got that answer. No, I do why. Take the... (laughs) 
That's why we're like, okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? Wow. I did it backwards. I did it backwards. That's right. Square root of 16 and then the square root of 9. Then you take that. Okay, I got it now. But it would be 49. Okay, Mexico is bordered on the south by Belize and what other Central American country? Mexico is bordered on the south by Belize and what other Central American country? I don't know this. I think... No, I didn't. Um, Mexico? Mexico is bordered on the south by Belize and what other Central American country? Is it Costa Rica down there? Yeah. That's probably the answer. Yeah, it's down there, but it's not bordering Mexico. Uh, So the options are Honduras, Nicaragua, and Guatemala. Oh, Shara, Honduras. Oh, no, no, Shara, Guatemala, sorry. Can I change it? (laughs) I mean, are you sticking? Is that your final answer, Guatemala? My final answer is Guatemala. (laughs) Anybody else? Uh, I don't know. Okay. Shar is right. Guatemala. I'm only saying that I got lost so, in Mexico and literally got lost in the jungle. And I remember all this Guatemala stuff that came up. Anyway, lost for like three hours on a bus. It's a long story. Woo! Lost, <laughs> lost, lost, in, the, lost in the jungle. Lost in the jungle. Oh my God! I wish I had a little bit of a I'll the never movie continues. The movie continues. And my phone is rusty that year. Oh my god! <laughs> so so far, Logic Six, BJ Two, and Char Three. Uh, so next question. We're almost done too. Which of the following is the scientific term for an organism that makes its food from inorganic material? Which of the following scientific terms <laughs> for an organism that makes its food from inorganic material? So is it an autotroph, a heterotroph, or an embryotroph? Oh, I'm out. I think. I think I know what it Thanks is. Thanks for the multiple choice. Uh, uh, multiple choice is very uh, What? So it, it's, a, it's an organism that makes its food from inorganic <laughs> materials. Autotroph, heterotroph, embryotroph. We're going for embryotroph. That's I'm going to go okay. with auto. Because this is organic. You're like going with auto? I've told me that, so. All right. Logic was correct. I went with embryo with you, BJ, but logic was correct. That was a tricky one, but the three, the multiple choice kind makes it so much easier and fun. I really appreciate that. (laughs) Yeah, but you know the rest of the world does not do multiple choice. The United States does multiple choice. (laughs) And the rest of the world comes here and sees our test and, like, they're giving you the answers right there. Like, this isn't hard at all. So, yeah. Yeah, That's why everybody I'm not really needs to accept that. Well, we could still be wrong. Right? We're still going to have, you know, makes it still tricky. What'd you say, Logic? I, I said, yeah, the whole world is geniuses to accept us. That's why they're doing so well. That's not necessarily true, and that's not what I'm trying to say. However, I'm that's not a whole saying you're trying to say that, but it's just it's funny to me how people come here, you know, from China. Oh, you know, the Americans are so stupid. Really? Yeah, for real? Because, it, you know, the rest of the world seems like it's just as goofy as we are. It's just funny. Well, yeah, everybody has their blah. Anyways, so when paired with a helping verb like have or has, the word go turns into what word in the past tense? When paired with a helping verb like have or has, the word go turns into what word in the past tense? BJ, it's gone. Go ahead and go ahead, Logic. Gone. gone. Oh, BJ. Oh, wait, wait. BJ said it first. B, he said BJ, and then he said his answer. What was it? Gone. I just, that was me. That was okay, me. BJ says gone. Logic, what do you say? The same thing. And Shar, since just you were talking, what do you say? No, I'm sorry, gone I said was gone correct. also. Yeah. I give I give the point to BJ because he answered first, though. All right. Which okay. of the following That's words nice. can be used as an adjective? Which of the following words can be used as an adjective? Smooth, smile, or rapidly? Rav- oh, Shar. Go ahead, Shar. Ravishly. Okay, ravishly. 
Well, he said rapidly, like really fast, <laughs> rapidly. <laughs> I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was having a Valentine's Day night. Um, rapidly. Uh-huh. I'm sure you were. Okay. <laughs> so is that is anybody else? Logic, BJ? Smooth, uh, smile, mm-hmm. or rapidly? Smile. BJ says smile. Logic, what do you say? Mm, pass. All right, so we'll do Char since she answered first. And the answer is smooth. All right. Do y'all remember what an adjective is? I don't know. Forgot. Doesn't the adjective describe the noun? Uh, You know what I'm surprised of? You know what I'm surprised of? And I'm totally calling this listener out. So if this listener is listening, which she normally is, She's a teacher. She's the one who called in, uh, what was it, three, four episodes ago? How are you a teacher and you're not answering these questions? I'm not getting messages from our listeners. <laughs> Teachers out there, come on. <laughs> All right, next, next question. Round the number 350 to the nearest 100. Round the number 350 to the nearest 100. Are you serious, Char? That sounds so stupid. Go ahead, Char. 400. Duh. I was about to say four. <laughs> okay, Logic, BJ. 400. 300. 400 is correct. BJ, shame on you. But that was too easy. Was that really the question? That was too easy. All you do is add 50 and then explain. That, no way. Okay. I'll oh, take it's not. Though. It's not that simple because it's like the the rule of thumb is if it gets to the fifty or the five, then you round up. If it's below the five, then you round down. That's all. So oh, someone yeah. could have guessed three hundred. I get what you're saying. Yeah, but I heard you say next or near. No, he, they couldn't have guessed three hundred. Three hundred. You're at three fifty, so you have to round up. Yeah. If it was three forty nine, uh-huh. for instance, then yes, it would have been three hundred. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so sit me in a corner. Sit me in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's do two more because we only have – I didn't even realize it was almost uh, – the show was almost over. Man. Yeah. Anyways, uh, what is the correct spelling for a system built to carry water? What is the correct spelling for for a system built to carry water? What? System built to carry water? Do you what does that mean? Okay, let's do that. Let's, let's, let's say this. What is what is the word for a system built to carry water? Connect. I mean, connect. I don't know. 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 <laughs> yeah, in the Roman times. All right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Was that the last question? Hold on a second. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, which of these rivers lies entirely within the United States? Which of these rivers lies entirely within the United States? The Mississippi River, River the Colorado River, or the Yukon River? Char. Okay, go, Char. Char. Mississippi. Mississippi is correct. All right, let's hurry up. One more. That was too easy. <laughs> if Kevin plans on visit, if Kevin plans on visiting the three tallest mountains in the world, which continent will he be visiting? Europe, Africa, or Asia? The three tallest mountains in the world. Which continent will he be visiting? Europe, Africa, or Asia? Star. Go ahead, Star. Y- Europe. Europe is wrong. The correct answer is Asia. Africa. Africa. Oh. Africa. Africa. <laughs> really, it's Asia? So let's hey, finish this you... up real quick because we have about 30 <laughs> seconds, and let's see if we were smarter. So apparently we are smarter. Uh, well, actually, we're in the 73 percentile. Logic won with seven. Shark came in with five. And BJ came in with three. And the listeners lost. You suck. 
<laughs> well, thank you for it playing. Was oh, and our the teacher actually messaged in. They, she said she was driving and she cannot text and drive, but somehow she got that message over to us. So you text and drive. No. So we call you out on right. your bullshit. Right. Uh, well, thank you for joining us tonight. We'll see you next week right here on No Conduct Radio. Peace out, everyone. Have a great week, everyone. Lots of fun, lots of love, and peace out from my business. <laughs> Why every time? <laughs> yeah.